Hello there, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own iOS 14 widgets with KWGT app. Make sure you have KWGT app installed on your phone. You can get the link in description for this app. To get started, tap and hold anywhere blank on your home screen and choose widgets. Then choose a custom widget. We're gonna be adding a square widget, so we'll choose 2 by 2 size. Now tap on it. To set it up we'll be starting from scratch so tap on this page icon over here now we'll add a first element by tapping this plus sign over here first of all we'll add a shape a square to be exact now we'll select this element and we'll make it a bit bigger now we'll make its corners around for reference you can download an image with original iOS 14 widget from the internet but it depends on you. You can make it transparent if you want. Just go to the paint section, select color and choose the transparency on this bar. But I'm keeping it opaque. Now we'll add a second element. Tap the plus icon, choose image. Now select the image and Tick the checkbox before pick image. You'll see this calculator icon on top right. Tap on it and select bitmap. Then go to music info or MI section. Swipe up until you see this current cover image. Select it. And Tap on this check mark. Now I'll increase its size and then go to position tab, select the anchor to top left and reposition it. The X offset moves your element to left or right while the Y offset moves your element from up to down now we'll add our third element which is gonna be a shape again this shape will actually trim the corners of our album art go to FX section select the mask and choose clip next module now we'll go to the home page and move this square right over the album cover image. Now we'll open this second shape element again. We're gonna make it the same size as cover image and put this right over that. Make sure this square is just as big as the album cover image. Now we'll make its corners round. Perfect. We'll keep saving our work by tapping this floppy disk icon up there. Now we're gonna be adding our fourth element, this time a text element. By default it's time, so we'll edit it. Just tap on text, choose the text. Remove everything from the formula editor. Then select music info section and select current track title and tap done. Now change the font to San Francisco Pro Display Bold. You can download the fonts from the link I'm leaving in the description and then move these TTF font files to the fonts subfolder in custom folder of your internal storage. After that we'll select font type and select fixed width. If you do not set this up, you will get the title out of your widget. So set the maximum lines to 1 and increase its size a little bit. Now we'll go to the position tab, set its anchor to center left and move it accordingly. 
then we'll move to the paint tab and select now we'll add our fifth element which is text again Let's just add one tap on one and select the text field remove everything from formula editor select MI section and choose current artist go to paint section select pink as its color set its size and its type again we'll set it to fixed width then we'll set its maximum lines to 1 then we'll change its font we'll be choosing San Francisco medium this time then we'll set its position we'll keep it just below the title name Lastly, we'll add the Apple Music logo. Download it from the internet. Now add an image element. Tap on it. Pick the image. And select the Apple Music logo from downloads. Now all you have to do is to put this on the top right corner of your widget. And uh, adjust its size and don't forget to save it and your widgets ready tada you want to add an action go to the touch section select custom action tap on it choose music controls and then choose the action from the second field you can choose between play or pause, next or previous track, volume up or down or open the correspondent player. So the choice is yours. Now just don't forget to save all your work. Now with the action all set up, when you'll tap the widget, it will take you to the player. If you want to make it look more accurate, compare it side by side with the original iOS widget and make necessary changes. So here's my final work. If you like this tutorial and it proved any useful to you, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Well I'm also leaving this widget files link in the description so if you don't want to make it all from the scratch just download this kwgt widget file and uh, use it. Have a good day.